Hey guys, and welcome to the cooking show with me, Grandpa, and me, the grandson. So, in today's cooking show, we're obviously going to be cooking. So, I'm going to be teaching him how to cook because Owen here doesn't really know how to cook that well, and everyone needs to know how to cook at some point. So, go and get the ingredients. Okay. We have two things we're going to be cooking today. You can't see me. Um, it's okay. Anyways, we are going to be opening this mini verse and cooking with the ingredients we get inside. So let's just jump right into it already. Looks like we have to peel this. Will it be a perfect peel? I don't think so. You were right, it wasn't. But maybe we can redeem ourselves? Nope. Nice ASMR though. Oh, that came off kind of easily, I guess. And now right here. Perfect peel right there. I haven't seen a perfect peel in a while. Yep. I'll pop it right open like an egg. Um. Ow! Um, he'll be okay. Don't worry. Uh, you're, you're okay, right? I guess. I'm sitting here. I don't think that's any more safe, but okay. Let's take everything out and show them what we got. Okay, we've got this orange and yellow and white and beige bag. We got this completely, well, not completely, but mostly yellow bag. This teal bag. I love the color teal. Ooh, a blue bag. I also love the color blue. And a pink bag. Alright, ready? We're back. We opened two bags just so we can all uh, just open them. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's see. What is this? Um, looks like there's popcorn on it. Maybe it's like some popcorn syrup. I don't know. Let's see what this one. Some blue sprinkles. I wonder what we got. Okay, time to open these. This pink one. Let's open it like how it's telling us to open it. And then the other ones will just straight up rip open because um, if you open it like this, then you can make a bag out of it. And that's why we put the other ones like that because we made a bag with this one. You cut the sides after, like right here. And then nice little bag. It's kind of hard to use them. Okay, let's see what's in it. Oh, the back's already cut open. Ooh, popcorn. White and um, it's mostly yellowish, kind of. Okay, whatever. Yellow and pink popcorn. That looks good. We'll see what we got at the end. Okay, kind of open this. Oh, everything went flying. But we got the tweezers everyone always gets and some a nice spoon it's a pretty big spoon okay now last but not least don't want to tear it like how we did last oh okay okay now let's see what we got oh and this is a nice bowl that we got i think we well it's kind of obvious what we got we got popcorn which i didn't even know you could get popcorn <gasps> this is gonna look so good I can't wait. Alrighty, so we opened this, um, which is the, it's pink, which is just fantastic. Okay, so you have to un, um, after you open, like, the thing you take it off, you have to grab this and twist it on, just like that. So now it's easier to squeeze and put into your bowl. And now you flip the card, um, that you get in the, like, thing that shows all your like all the things you could have gotten you can cut it out like we did to make it simpler to show and use and um now you can just read it off step by step so let's begin first it says to put in the popcorn and the sprinkles but we're not going to put the sprinkles in until last and this is also unicorn popcorn by the way so let's add the popcorn 
Ooh, we're not gonna add all of them yet. And now it says to add this. So excited. Ooh. All right, one more squeeze. That's it. Okay, now it's time to mix. Oops. Ooh, this is fun. Gotta mix nice and good so everything has something. And we're gonna have to wash this spoon after. Time to add a little more popcorn because there's not enough. Oh, maybe that was a little too much. And now we're gonna add some more syrup or whatever it is. Some nice frosting kinda. Ooh, just dribble it, dribble it like Dribble it, drizzle it. Glaze, that's what it's called. I just read it. And if you guys don't like the glaze, then you don't have to add as much as we are. We just personally like how the glaze tastes. Yeah. Okay, once it's nice and like how you like it, you can go ahead and add sprinkles. We're gonna get this off of here with that because we don't wanna waste any of this popcorn. Yeah, even though we have a full bag, we still don't wanna be wasteful. Alrighty, now we're gonna add the sprinkles because like we said, we wanted to add the sprinkles last. Ooh, nice and yummy. Oops, we dropped a sprinkle. Oh, two sprinkles. Three sprinkles. I think that's enough. We'll pick up the sprinkles and just put them back in. And look at that. Some unicorn popcorn for you guys. Mmm. Okay, and when you're done making it, however much you like it, however much glaze, however much sprinkles, however much popcorn, you can go ahead and harden it if you would like to because this is pretty sticky. So if you don't, it's going to be hard to play with and it's just going to be difficult overall because it's going to get all stuck between your fingers and just like everywhere. It's going to get stuck everywhere, which is not fun. But um, if you want to harden it and because this is resin, you can go ahead and put it outside in the sun if it's a sunny day and wait and put it out there for like five minutes and if it doesn't harden at that five minutes wait maybe like five more minutes so 10 minutes and just keep waiting and then by the time you are back then it's gonna be um hardened and you can play with it and it won't get lost or anything anyways if you guys want more of these videos come back for another episode next time bye bye with my grandson yeah i learned so much last time so i can't wait to see what we get this time yep this time i'll get the ingredients whatever we get in the ingredients we're gonna make um something out of it obviously there are gonna be some some steps to it so it's gonna be pretty easy to figure out yep anyways i don't want it to block my face so it's going over there again yep anyways this is the mini verse um make it mini food this is how it looks and there are so many different things that we could get so i can't wait to see what we get hopefully we get a good meal so we can enjoy it now let's see is this gonna be a perfect tear or will it be a flop Ooh, i already think it's gonna be a flop what about you um i don't think it's gonna be good here i'll start from this side because maybe it'll be better yeah it's gonna be a flop did you guys get it would be a flop or perfect. All right, that one was a flop, but let's see what this one's gonna be. On this side, you can see this one's probably gonna be a flop. Yeah. And then on this side, it's probably gonna be a good one. Yes, yeah, so let's do this one. Ooh, it was pretty good until the end, which sucks, but that means now we can just start from here, start tearing, 
then here, and then it comes right off. All right, let's crack the egg. I want to do it. All right, just like that. Or let's put it back together and crack it like a real egg. Just like that. And all our ingredients go flying out. These things, um, I don't, we don't really use these at all. So we throw them in our trash can. But this, this we use because it shows what we could possibly get. And then once we figure out what we got, we use it to figure out how to make it. Basically the steps. Yeah. Alrighty. This time we're going to open these this teal bag first because it has the utensils that we need and it makes and we always need the utensils first oh we got a spoon and then obviously this we get this every time and you can tell that it's not the same spoon so it's not going to be the same that it was last episode luckily because we we wouldn't mind if it was the same but we just personally don't want it to be the same. So we got a smaller spoon the last time and this, this, I don't know, what those are called? The tweezers. Ooh, we got a plate, a big plate. Let's open this one next, which this is the keep cool. So it's probably gonna be something good. Ooh, we got, um, what is this? We got some chocolate dip. Oh, it's gonna be strawberries. It's gonna be chocolate strawberries. <gasps> oh my gosh. I have never been more excited. I love chocolate dipped strawberries. I can't wait. So let's cut this tape off. Cause we don't wanna ruin our strawberries. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, there we go. And let's this looks delish and for the same we're gonna do over here we're just gonna cut this little piece off because we don't want it messing with us and here's a step by step tutorial on what to do Ooh, this is gonna be hard to take off so we'll be right back when we get it off Alrighty, so we got it open and look at how majestic that chocolate is. And it actually wasn't that hard to open at all, like how we expected. It slid right off, which was very surprising because it usually takes forever to do. Anyways, so for the steps, it says to dip it and then put it on the plate and then let out to dry in the sun. Alrighty, so we have a reference picture for us cookers back here. So let's take the first strawberry and dip it in. Ooh, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared too. Alright, three, two, one. Ooh, that went in perfectly. And look at that drizzle. Okay, now let's set it down. Ooh, nice. All right, I'll do the next one. Ooh, some are gonna, sh should we layer them or no? No, that's gonna take too much work. Yeah, I guess. Oops. Just Okay, so here are the strawberries all done covered in chocolate and we're gonna leave two just so we can eat them later because there's they seem really good and then um i'm gonna keep some chocolate so i can put it on my toast later and just have it for other things i want with my chocolate so yeah anyways i hope you guys liked that episode this episode and um when you're done making your recipe just put it out in the sun for a couple of minutes to let the resin dry and then it will be nice and ready to eat. Yep. And don't forget to close your resin so it doesn't dry out. Anyways, bye. Tell us if yours came out good. Bye. Come back for another episode.